The second race on the card then is the longest race on the card. It's also the first chase of the day. It's a three mile five furlong affair and the top one is Solo Blanc for Craig Allen. Hand of God, Jim Murray, Canny Danny, John Morgan, Half Shear, Leon Van Rinsburg, Bucco, Martin Liedham, Opus Safari, Ryan Costello, Fresno Millington and Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerard, Star Dilly, Alex Cherry, Classic Silver, David Hooley, Enemy or Friend, Darren Thompson, Bobby Sox, David Robertson, Land and Agent, Craig Allen, Man on of the Spring, Leon Van Rinsburg, Blue Penny, Martin Liedham and Graham Clutterbox got the bottom two, Bridget's Living and Craig. So 17 faced the starter and away they go then in the Welsh rain as they make their way towards the first of the obstacles they've got to go around this pretty tight looking turn first the first fence is some distance away as you can see and 22 obstacles are all that's going to be taken in this three mile five furlong affair in Opus Safari and Hand of God are the early leaders with the two wide on the track Houston obsessive and enemy or friend are beginning to move across and they're probably going to just about shade the lead Canny Danny is behind that little group in fifth and then the rest of them you could chuck a reasonable size tea towel at roll I think but at the moment it's Houston obsessive and enemy or friend who are disputing the lead and they're about a length and a half to two lengths clear of Hand of God who's a clear third Opus Safari tucked in behind that one in fourth and then a slight gap of a length or so to Canny Danny who heads the main field as they get to the first of the 22 which they all get safely over you'd expect these to be pretty decent jumpers these long distance chases are usually pretty perfect and get too many fallers as they get over number two and as he said that one's gone already so crazed has gone then so the bottom one is out for Graham Clutterbuck as they take the third and they're all safely over that one with enemy or friend in the lead. Houston Obsessive just about a neck behind him in second and a gap of a good three lengths then to Hand of God who's third as they get over this fourth which they're all safely over. The second Graham Clutterbuck horse is towards the back of the field. Bridget's landing along with Star Deli but they're racing now towards the next with a little less than three miles to go as they get over number five and they're all safely over that one with enemy or friend and Houston Obsessive sitting there Pretty stiff pace, I would suggest, by the fact that they're a good six lengths clear of the remainder. are headed by Hand of God, then Canny Downey for John Morgan, who likes his horses to be up with a pace. So that's another clue that they might be going a little bit quicker than normal. But enemy or friend seems comfortable enough in the lead. He's about a length and a half clear of Houston Obsessive, who's in second. Gap of five or six, then back to Hand of God third. Canny Danny is fourth, and Opus Safari on the inside is fifth. Then comes Solo Blanc and Bucco and Lansdowne Agent, then Marrow of the Spring and Fresno Millington, with Blue Penny and Classic Silver after that one. Looking towards the back of the field, Stardelli is already being pushed along at the back, and the field is quite well strung out, considering how far they've gone. And Enemy or Friend is the leader by about two lengths to Houston Obsessive in a green jacket chasing hard in second gap of four or five then to Jim Murray's Hand of God then Canny Danny and Bucco are in fourth and fifth and as they're coming down to the seventh which they all successfully negotiate and the interesting thing for some of us there is Canny Danny and Bucco those of us of a similar vintage which seems to be quite a lot of us in this league to be honest we'll remember the 1980s as they get over that ditch and Canny Danny and Bucco were actually stable companions with Jimmy Fitzgerald back in the day of Jimmy Fitzgerald and Mark Dwyer being more right at the top of their game and so those two former stable mates are running together in a bizarre sort of way today then although I would guess taking into account the fact that Bucco's mine and Canny Danny's John Morgan's and Canny Danny's going to prove to be a little bit better than Bucco in this sphere but they get over the next I don't think there's a great deal between them in real life to be honest but anyway back to the race and it's enemy or friend in the lead with Houston obsessive second Bucco's now moved through into third as they take the 11th after that little episode of all our yesterdays from me a mistake at the back was Star Deli and he's a little bit detached that one oh, he's uh, a four miler or something or they just not having a bit of a going day doesn't like the rain they could not pass the stand then net past the winning post and there you can see the big screen with chips though on it reminding us all where we are just in case we forgot and it's enemy or friend who's in the lead from Houston obsessive second gap of four or five lengths then back to Bucco who's now moved through in the third hand of God is fourth and Canny Danny is fifth then comes Lansdowne agent and half share and Marrow of the spring and Fresno Millington's after that one the grey is classic silver one's getting a little bit closer as well so too is Bobby Socks looking towards the back blue penny is at the back of the main pack and Stardelli is getting himself a little bit tailed off at this stage and 
wonder how much longer he's going to continue for when he's gone past the stable entrance, so maybe he'll keep plugging away. But it's enemy or friend and Houston Obsessive who've had it pretty much to themselves from the outset so far. They've remained a good four or five lengths clear off the rest of them. And to be fair, Houston Obsessive hasn't challenged enemy or friend for the lead yet. They're quite happy to sit one and two, those two, as they stream over number 12. There's Star Deli jumping well enough at the back, just running a little bit slowly. But it's enemy or friend who continues to lead as they get to this ditch. We see them all over again, including Star Daddy, who's still jumping nicely, but just a little bit slower than the rest of them. These fences coming up pretty thick and fast around the back there. Jim Murray's horse, Hand of God, made a bit of a mistake there and has now dropped back into fifth. As Canny Danny moves through into third again as they skip over the 15th. And all safely over that one as well with Opa Safari now at the back of the main pack. But it's enemy or friend who continues to lead them. They've only got a little bit more than a mile to go now then. And they're coming down to fence number 16, which they're all taking nicely. A bit of a mistake though by Bobby Socks and Stardelli at the back was right down on his nose that time. And I think it's pretty safe to say that one's not going to be troubling the judge as they take the 17th of the leader. Made a mistake and there's a fall. A solo block has gone. So that's a, one of the big guns out of the race. And whether that one was put off by the mistake made by the leader, I don't know. But Canny Danny has now moved through into second and suddenly they're beginning to bunch up top the race is on in earnest enemy or friend being pushed along Darren Thompson going for a quick fire double Canny down is now second Fresno Bellington is third then Houston obsessive hand of God coming through nicely around the inside half shares getting into enough of that Bucko is beginning to lose his place and drop away manner of the spring hasn't moved on that one yet nor Bobby Sox Bridget's living to around the outside bit of a gap back to classic silver and blue penny's not getting into it at all Opus Safari is beginning to tail off and is being passed by Star Deli and they're into the final five furlongs in there. And enemy or friend is still in the lead. But look at this manner of the spring. It's come from absolutely nowhere to take it up. And it's dragging Bridget's living with it. Over the 18th they go. And manner of the spring is now the new leader. Manner of the spring has quickly gone two or three lengths clear. From Bridget's living in second. Bobby Sox has come through in a third. Canny Danny fourth. Over the 19th. That could be the final ditch. Over it they all go. But all safely over it. Including the back pair. But it's manner of the spring with Bobby Sox in pursuit in second. Bridget's living is back in third. Then comes half share canny danny lands down agent difficult to see anything else getting into it now as they take the third last and manner of the spring is in the lead by two and a half lengths to bobby socks in second then half share bridget slivin's now beginning to drop away over the second last they go and manner of the spring looks like he's got this one tied up barring a fall now he's pulling five six seven lengths clear it's manner of the spring from lands down agent canny danny running back on again the leader pops over the last gets away from it well and there's nothing going to get anywhere near him and as racing up towards the line man on of the spring is man on of the day as they caught towards the line then man of the spring is holding on comfortably lands down agents running on nicely in second canny danny's run a good race in third then back to half share fourth hand of gobbles always up there in fifth bucko ran on again to be six and then bobby Soxon, the long time leader enemy or friend was after that one and star deli i think gave up the ghost in the end and pulled up in the straight so Man on of the spring is another one off the conveyor belt of long distance chases for Leon van Rinsburg. And Craig Allen will be looking at that and seeing he's still got he's still got some lengths to make up. And Manor of the Spring takes it for Leon van Rensburg. Lansdowne agent for Craig Allen second. Canny Danny for John Morgan third. Half share for Leon van Rensburg was fourth. And the fifth place horse was Jim Murray's Hand of God.